Hi guys, this is the lesson for Breezing Through Theory. First of all, you want to go to breezingthrough.com, log in if it doesn't take you automatically to the login page, and your username is Valley. Password is U N I S O N 115. Okay, you're going to put your name here and select your class. And then we are going to go to the next gen edition. And to content. Okay, for this last lesson, I kind of debated on what chapter to do. But in the end, I decided to do chapter 10, minor key signatures. I think that will help you the most. If you guys are really ambitious and bored or something, you can go back and you can do these other, like the piano, keyboard, rhythm, intermediate, advanced. You have access to this until the end of the school year. So if you get bored, you want to do some extra things, go ahead, go back, learn some stuff. But for our last one, we're doing chapter 10, minor keys. And sound check. Sound check is slow. It's there. Okay. All right. We'll do the lessons together. You come back, do the drills on your own. All right. Relative minor keys. You will find out what that means right now. Every major scale has a relative minor scale. They're related because they share the same set of notes but they have a different starting point. Same key signature, so C major, A minor, same key signature. Although the minor scale uses the same notes as the major scale and shares the same key signature, its beginning note is the sixth degree of the major scale. Okay, so if you wanna find the relative minor of your major key, you count up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then do the scale, play eight notes, starting here with this same key signature. All right, here we go. You get to hear the difference. The name of the scale is the name of the key. Listen to the difference between C major and its relative minor, the A minor scale. that all the time. You guys hear it a ton. This one we've played a couple times, but we haven't had as much time to spend on it this year. Sounds a little more sad, depressing. Here's the circle of fifths showing the minor keys. You'll see that it shares the same key signature as its relative major key. And as you learned in chapter 7, the circle of fifths organizes key signatures into a logical pattern. As you travel in a clockwise direction, the tonic note moves up 5 degrees. As you move, a sharp is added to, or a flat is subtracted from each new key. You guys are probably wondering why they have these plus and minus. Um, in music, the minus stands for the minor sound, but the plus does not stand for major. So guys, would you pretend those pluses aren't there? That means something else, actually, that we're not going to get into. It's kind of really advanced. So the minor, yes. The plus, no. Don't ever use a plus sign for major. Just use a capital letter, so like C or C capital M to stand for major. Never use that plus. That plus definitely should not be there. Now, here's the circle of fifths for the bass clef. Commit these major and minor keys to memory and use the drills to help you learn these concepts well. 
All right, is that it? Wow, short lessons today. All right, it's up to you guys. Go to the drills. Do your best once again. If it's hard and you just keep getting lots and lots wrong, once you have learned something, move on, guys. Even if you're, you're only getting four out of ten right, submit it, move on. Okay, do your best. Email me if you have questions or if you need help. And I will see you later, guys.